Hi guys, welcome to my new tutorial. Today is a bit of a different tutorial, it's um, pastel colours. Um, I thought this would be a great tutorial as we're just exiting spring and entering summer. So I thought this would be a great one just to uh, create, just for the summer and the spring together. So first I'm just going to be going in with uh, the Transition Colour uh, Brown from the Revolution palette. And then I'm going to be going in with this eyeshadow uh, ruffle uh, duo and I'll be taking my Sigma eye shading E55 brush first just to apply the shimmery pink shade all over my lid. I'll be then applying the purple colour in the outer corner of my eyelid as well just to blend these lovely two colours together. I'll be then moving on to this little mini palette um, this is actually from Accessorize. I got this quite a while ago. It's the first time I've actually used it and I love the colour. I'm going to be going in with the darkest blue. This actually comes on like a purple colour so it actually went well with the look because it's a purple eye so I love the, the way it turned out. Then I'll be going back in with my E55 eyeshading brush using that purple colour in the duo palette just to blend the blue and the pink together. Then I'll be going in with my Sigma E25 blending brush and picking up more of that purple just to blend in my crease and then I'll be using that blue again with um, an Urban Decay flat brush and just uh, uh, making the crease, not crease, so the outer corner a bit more deeper and then going back in with my E25 blending brush to blend all them colours together so there's no more harsh lines. I'll be then going in with this Sigma Glimmer Dust and this is in the, in the colour 22 and this is like a purpley bluey shimmer colour I'm just going to be applying this um, to the inner corner of my eyelid and going into the middle of my eyelid just a tiny bit this is absolutely a lovely shimmer colour I didn't think it would stick to my eyes but you know what I didn't use any product for it to stick to my eyelids and it actually stuck well I wore this for about two hours um, after I'd done it and the, the shimmer was still on my eyes so next I'm going to be going in with my um, number uh, 17, I think it is that I use, can't remember, number 17 um, gel eyeliner. It's going to be using an Urban Decay um, eyeliner brush to apply this. Next I'm going to be using my LA Pro Conceal uh, Concealer in Classic Over what I always use. I did al already apply my MAC Studio Fix NW15 foundation before the video actually started. So I'm just going to be blending all that concealer out with um, a normal damp beauty blender. After this I'm going to be contouring my face with that medium brown colour that's going along my cheekbones, uh, my side of my forehead, my nose and that's why I'll be contouring and then I'll be going back in with my Real Techniques buffer brush just to blend all them harsh lines out. Once I've done this I'll be going in with the baking method underneath my eyes just um, set that concealer and I'll just be going along the bridge of my nose as well. Next I'll be going in my Urban Decay Baked Bronzer in number 10 to be applying this um, with a normal fluffy brush from Urban Decay as well. Then I'll be contouring my face with the Real Techniques Contour Brush and going in with the colour from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette in Shadow Play and to be setting my contour in place. Once I've done this I'll be going in with my BH Cosmetics Brush Palette and I'll be using that mauve colour again what I always use. And to be applying this to the apples of my cheeks just to warm them up and give them some more colour.
Then I'll be removing all that baking powder that I um, applied earlier. And then I'll be um, sharpening them contour lines just underneath the cheekbone and using the baking method as well. Moving back onto my eyes, I'm going to be using the same dark um, blue I put in my outer corner. So we're using a flat brush from Urban Decay to apply this under my lash line. And then I'll be blending this out with the same E25 blending brush as well. Moving on to lips, we'll be using my Rimmel 004 Indian Pink Lip Liner. Let's be applying this on my lips and also contouring my lips just a little bit. And for lipstick, it's a new one that I actually recently bought from Amazon. I wasn't too sure what to put on the lips, but I thought this would be not as bright as, I, as it came on. But this is in the number 15 and this is a liquid matte um, lipstick. After that, I'll be removing all that baking powder and then I'll be going in with the Sigma Sweet Thing Spotlight Powder. So we're applying this to uh, the apples on my cheeks as well, just to give it more of a uh, dewy look. And then I'll be going in with my Revolution Highlight Palette and be using that purple pinky highlighter just to keep the colours uh, balanced. Moving back on to lips, because the colour was a bit bright on my lips, I went back in with my Sigma Curiosity uh, Lip Gloss to be applying this just to add more of a gloss instead of it looking so matte. And that about does the tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed this and I think it's perfect for the end of spring into summer. I will definitely be wearing this when I go out next. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching and as for now I'll see I'll see you in my next tutorial and I love you guys so much. Bye!